Welcome back to Theme Park Spark. Please like and subscribe. Back in December 2012, my husband and I traveled from Los Angeles to Sydney, Australia to celebrate our fifth wedding anniversary. It was a bucket list trip for both of us, and we spent three wonderful weeks exploring Australia in the weeks leading up to Christmas. This year, I decided to compile our photos and videos to relive the experience and share it with you. Be sure to check out my Australia playlist to see all of the videos. We're in Australia! If you've been following along, you know that we went to Sydney, we went to Arley Beach, we went to Broad Beach, which is in the Gold Coast, just south of Brisbane, Australia. Today I am talking about our last full day in Australia. I know, let's take a moment of silence for that. We started the day with crumpets and Nutella on the breakfast on our balcony. That's how we do breakfast on vacation. We were staying at the Meriton Service Departments in Broad Beach. It was an overcast day that kind of looked like rain, but we hadn't gone down to the beach yet from our hotel, and I really wanted to go down to the beach from our hotel. If you saw my video yesterday, you know that we put on sunscreen and we got ready to go to the beach and then it started raining, so we went to the hot tub instead. Today, we actually were able to go to the beach. We walked by a little park area that had jungle gyms and swing sets and everything set up. Honestly, if I was going to move to Australia, I'd probably move to Broad Beach. It seemed very family friendly. The beaches are great. They had playgrounds. It's very scenic. There's theme parks. Kind of reminded me of being in Southern California where I live. So in Australia, they have this thing where you swim between the flags. They'll have flags set up on the beach and you're supposed to swim between the flags so we went to an area just adjacent to the flags we went to the beach nearby just down the beach a little bit so that it wasn't as crowded we basically had that area of the beach to ourselves because most people were going in the water and we kind of just wanted to sit on the beach and relax and enjoy the view there were tons of rocks and shells on the beach, so we picked out a couple pretty ones to take home with us. We knew we couldn't take them all, but we wanted at least one to take home. I also made a sand angel, because how random is that? It wasn't as easy as making a sand angel as it is to make a snow angel, but I tried. And we drew a little snowman, sandman, on, the, on a surfboard and decorated him with shells. We saw a crab on the beach and filmed him. You can enjoy that video. We mainly just sat there and enjoyed the view and appreciated being in Australia. Then we walked back to our hotel and enjoyed the hot tub one more time before going up and freshening up for dinner. We went to Surfer's Paradise again for dinner. In this place, we went to a pub where we got beer battered chips again and sat at a place where we had a view of the ocean. And then we ended our trip by filming a video talking to the camera about Australia. So here we are talking back in 2012 to the camera about our trip in Australia. We left LA on December 2nd. Um, and because you crossed the international date line, we arrived in Sydney on December 4th. Yes, at about 6 a.m. 6 a.m. We were the first flight in. It was really nice because when we went to... Uh, uh, check through um, customs. Customs. Um, there was nobody in line, so uh, we talked to a guy there, and he said usually there's like a thousand people, because several planes get there around the same time. We were the first plane, so we had nobody in front of us. So it was really good. Right. Yeah. So it was painless, um, and the flight was awesome too. We flew mm -hmm. on Virgin Australia, and it was a 15-hour flight. Mm -hmm. um, we actually arrived a little early, but I guess you can't land in Sydney before 6 a.m., so we circled the airport for about a half hour. Um, but the flight was awesome. They had food, uh, Ryan had lamb, and I had ravioli, and um, we had eggs for breakfast, and um, wine, and it's all included, and there's, um, there's free movies and TV shows and music, and um, I watched it's just five awesome. I watched five movies on the way over here. Um, I can't list them right now, but it was, yeah. I mean, I was I was a little intimidated by the 15 hours, but um, you know, two meals, five movies, and you're there. Yeah, a short nap. Short nap. It's hard to sleep on the plane. A lot of people tried. Right. I don't know how much sleep anyone got though. Right. I saw a couple of people snoring pretty bad. So uh, some people are just naturals at it. Yeah, so we finally landed at 6 a.m., breezed through customs, took a taxi to our hotel, which was um, the Meriton on Kent Street. Mm -hmm. 
our taxi driver was Lebanese. He's yes. been here for 22 years, and he loves it. Yes. Um, and so we arrived at our hotel, and thankfully it was like 7-something in the morning at that time. Um, maybe 7 in the morning, whatever. Thankfully they had a room available for us. We wanted a room as high up as possible, and we got the 24th, 24th floor, yeah. which the first floor was really the 14th floor. Yes. Something like that. So we were really only 10 floors up. Um, and if we hadn't been so exhausted, we probably would have waited for a higher room because there were 50 some floors. Mm -hmm. But we just wanted to go to sleep. So it was awesome. Um, and the room had like, well, it was a full one bedroom apartment, really. Um, well, every place we've stayed has been a full one bedroom apartment washer, dryer, full kitchen, um, a balcony with table and chairs living room, separate bedroom, bathroom. It's really Big been great. TV. Big flat screen. Um, it's really been great. We've really enjoyed having, being able to move in a little bit because we've stayed, mm. um, we're in Sydney for a week. Yeah, so um, that was December 4th, our first yeah. day. Just um, acclimating ourselves. I think we went to bed at like 7 or 8 o'clock or something. It's just we weren't adjusted. Because yeah. when it's um, like 18 hours ahead here, so, when it's, um, I'm trying to think of an easy, when it's midnight, well, there it's, it's five hours ahead, where we are now yeah, it's six hours ahead. Sydney, Sydney, is, Sydney was five hours Well, not ahead. five hours, um, 19? It was like 19 hours 19 ahead. Hours so, ahead. you subtract five hours from U.S. time. And add a day. And it's the, ne and it's the next day. Right. So, so it's the 22nd today, and it's the 21st in the U.S. What time is it right now? It is, it is 8.30 right now. So where we are right now, you would subtract six hours. So it is 2.30 in the morning? Yeah. It's 2.30 in the morning today in L.A. and it is 8.30 p.m. same day. Right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's the 22nd there right now, and it's the 22nd, it's still the 22nd here. Mm -hmm. In three and a half hours, it'll be the 23rd. Yeah, it's a little confusing. Yeah. Anyway, so um, that was the, the fourth. <laughs> and then the fifth, so our first real day when we went out and explored Sydney, we, um, we kind of just did our own thing. It was awesome. We were really close to Darling Harbor, mm -hmm. so we're probably like Darling Harbor, Hava. They don't really pronounce their R's. It's kind of like Boston. Um, Boston. We're trying to do the accent for Australia, but I don't know. Ryan has it down better than I do. Maybe just a little. <laughs> 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 um, so on the 5th, we went over to um, Darling Haba. It was kind of difficult finding fruit here um, until this last area. Uh, we're in Broad Beach right now. Um, fruit just fruit just isn't readily available. Um, it probably it is, but, is, but it's, it's not at the not. grocery store. Yeah. It doesn't taste good as much. But yeah. yeah, where we are right now, I mean, we just went to the grocery store. We went to Kohl's. Same yeah, grocery had... store you went to in Sydney. Mm -hmm. And um, the fruit there just wasn't as good as the fruit here. Right. Maybe this is more of a fruit growing area than bacon, bacon and which bacon here is Canadian bacon. They don't even have anything called American bacon. Or, yeah. or what the ba bacon as we know it does not exist here, and they don't cook it to crisp. It's right. Kind of. But you almost. I miss burn. bacon. That's the only thing I can say. I really well. I miss bacon. I miss Diet Mountain Dew. Yes. Just doesn't exist here. They just don't have it. They, it everything is imported. Uh, well, it's not imported because they actually bottle it here. But mm -hmm. uh, Pepsi isn't readily available here. Um, a lot of Coke products. Yeah, um, Coke has bottling facilities here. It yeah. tastes a little bit different, but I think I'm used to it by now. It's been a few weeks. The first couple yeah. of days, it tasted kind of weird. Like with the, the smaller bottles, um, it it's like when you screw the cap off, it sounds different. It kind of like pops. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sound like it's even sealed as well. So it almost tastes kind of flat, even right. when you just opened it, I guess. It's the easiest way to describe it. Okay, okay, so tonight is our last night in Australia. We've been here for about three weeks now. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, December, a, it's December 22nd. and uh, The world the, is still here. Yes, the world did not end, as the Mayans predicted. 
Um, we figured there's no point in making this video until we knew for sure that the world was going to keep going on. Please like and subscribe and click the bell so you're notified about upcoming videos. I have so much more than Australia to talk about. And this is going to conclude our full days in Australia. I still have one more video about our trip back home. See you next time.